All right, so in this video, I'll show you how you can create your uh, copy or your script directly on the Wondercraft platform based on just some uh, source information. So um, that's what the content tab is for here. You can open it by pressing content and you can type in here anything. You can prompt similar to the way that you would prompt ChatGPT, such as I like, create the script for, create the ad for, create the meditation for, et cetera, et cetera. I have um, a sample uh, prompt here for uh, an article. We can find any article here. Um, and then if you press on generate, it's just going to go ahead. It's going to read that article and it's going gonna, it's gonna to go ahead and generate it. You can do that in any language. You can see here that there's plenty for you to select from. Um, and apart from you coming up with a prompt, we also have a library of prompts available that you can just browse around to find. Uh, we found that these are particularly effective um, for, you know, whichever the use case is. So you can uh, browse around and find if, that's, if, if it works for your particular use case. And finally, if you like a particular prompt um, and you want to edit it a little bit or you want to create a new prompt to use it for the future, you can go to custom and you can just uh, prompt, uh, you can create your own prompt here and save it. So that it would be um, a Wondercraft intro uh, test, uh, test prompt for uh, X. And then if you wrap X in square brackets, then you'll see that it's actually, it actually becomes a variable. So if I use this prompt, you can see that, you know, you've marked your variables of what you want to change from time to time. Uh, in the meantime, you can see that our podcast episode script is still uh, is still getting written here. And you can see that we have all of these like different voice segments, voice one and voice two. I think we don't need this last one. Um, and we're good to go. Uh, you can just go ahead and generate all if you want. It's going to be about, uh, this is an estimate at 1240. But uh, if you generate all, it's going to be between 10 and 13 minutes. Um, uh, alternatively, and I would recommend you doing this is, just focusing on segment by segment and starting small. Uh, so just press on generate this and generate this and just listen to these so you can make sure that it actually works exactly as you uh, as you want it to. Um, and then um, you can keep iterating. Now, something that I want to highlight here is that your script will be as good as your prompt, right? And I do want to highlight that it's important to include things that you want to see in your script, such as um, you can say things such as um, uh, make sure uh, make sure to make uh, to make a playful uh, interaction between the speakers or such a such something like uh, um, introduce uh, disfluencies. This is basically um, example ums and ms to make it um, to make it more natural. So you can just keep like including more and more information of what you want to see from your copy or script, because, um, you know, the, as I said before, the script is going to be as good as your, as your copy. So yeah, just make sure that you, you know, you introduce all of these like interesting, um, tidbits here that will make it very uh, unique to your use case and it will capture all of those points. So this is how you can generate your script directly on Wondercraft. If there's uh, any questions, again, just use the a green button down here and I'll see you in the next video.